Hi everybody! Today's article is about far infrared home sauna maintenance. Um, if you've done any research at all on far infrared saunas, you've certainly read that one of their primary advantages is the low maintenance. Um, there's almost none. Um, if you've gone as far as to speak to an owner of a far infrared sauna, they'll probably say something like, um, they said it would be low maintenance, but I had really no idea. <laughs> um, so how easy is it to actually take care of a sauna? Um, keeping your far infrared sauna clean and sanitary, is, it's truly easy. It's a small time commitment when compared to tra traditional steam saunas. Saunas are relatively sanitary and they won't require the same type of cleaning required in other areas of your home. The main reason is that we don't spend a whole lot of time in there, um, but far infrared sauna requires a lot less maintenance because there's no steam in the sauna. We're not introducing any real water other than your sweat. And taking simple precautions like using towels on the benches and on the floors and on your body, um, not only to wipe away the sweat, but to prevent sweat stains from accumulating in your sauna and, and uh, accumulating on your benches. Um, probably the best way to keep your sauna clean and looking new is to use a seat cushion. We sell them at Celebration Saunas. They're made from a Sombrella waterproof canvas. It's a boating material. It's all non-toxic. It feels like fabric and it's comfortable. It's the difference between a hard bench and a soft cushion. But the main thing is that it protects your bench from sweat stains from accumulating over time. So whether you use your sauna today, it looks new. In 10 years, it'll also look new because you've got these, these, these cushions protecting your, your benches from sweat stains. So that's one of the best ways to protect your um, protect your sauna um, and and keep preventative maintenance. But um, other preventative maintenance is like I said, you know, throwing down a few towels on the bench. Make sure you put a towel down on the floor to catch the sweat coming off of your feet. And if you use towels to wipe away the sweat on your body as you're producing sweat, it's going to encourage your body to sweat more. Um, so it, it's a it's a good tactic to do anyways. Not only when you wipe away the sweat on your body are you wiping away toxins that are um, excreting from the sweat in the body, um, but you're also encouraging your body to sweat more. Um, uh, when you are finished with your sauna session, you want to make sure that you... Um, Remove all of your wet towels at the end of your sauna session. Start your oxygen ionizer and close the door so that the sauna can be properly cleaned. We run an oxygen ionizer to produce ozone in the sauna. It binds with everything um, positively charged. Viruses, bacteria, mold, um, all, of these sauna, all of these things and odors will be eliminated using the uh, oxygen ionizer. And that's really all that you have to do in order to clean your sauna. Don't get sweat on it if you can help it. Throw some towels down, wipe away sweat off of yourself. Take them out of the sauna when you're done. Turn on your oxygen ionizer. Close the door and you're good to go. Um, once in a while you'll want to definitely vacuum your sauna um, and, and kind of just uh, sweep up for debris or anything that can kind of come in on your feet. Um, and then if, if you do accumulate sweat stains over time, you can use a vinegar and water solution like you would with your hardwood floors. Um, vinegar is a great um, antibacterial. Um, it's a great cleaning product. We even use that in hospitals for these saunas. Um, and uh, vinegar will help get some of the sweat stains that can accumulate um, on the benches. Um, if you do have a kind of a tough sweat stain that kind of occurs, um, you'll want to use like a fine grain sandpaper to go ahead and, and uh, sand that out just a little bit and shouldn't take a whole lot. Um, so you can use um, a couple of solutions that you can use. You can use a mild solution of baking soda and vinegar um, or you can use a diluted um, hydrogen peroxide to kind of pull up some of the dirt from the wood also. Um, you don't want to use too much water on your sponge, your cloth as you're wiping away sweat. Um, any water that's going to sit on the wood is also going to stain the wood. Um, never, ever, ever use chemicals in your sauna. Never. No oils, no paints, no nothing. Um, all that stuff can outgas. And our whole purpose of getting into the sauna is to detox, so please don't put anything in there that's going to be toxic. 
Um, it, it really will. It'll ruin your sauna. It'll ruin your experience and you're not going to get the health benefits that you want if you're introducing new toxins into the environment. So please refrain from using any chemicals in your sauna. Vinegar and water works just fine, I promise. Um, otherwise, you know, the oxygen ionizer and a vacuum is great too. Um, for the outside of the sauna, um, you know, we, you can dust the outside of the sauna. It's a fairly smooth surface. It's finished. Um, to keep it the wood um, lustrous, um, you can use a, a tongue oil to kind of wipe over the, the exterior of the sauna. It's just going to keep the finish looking um, really nice and help with um, dusting and, and whatnot. Um, so tongue oil is a nice way to maintain the exterior of your sauna. Um, all saunas... Um, should come with an oxygen ionizer to keep your sauna free from viruses, mold, bacteria, and odors. Um, all uh, celebration saunas uh, do come with an oxygen ionizer to keep your sauna clean. Um, that is included with your sauna. Um, running your oxygen ionizer for 30 minutes after your sauna session um, is a good idea um, just to keep your sauna sanitary, fresh smelling, and enjoyable for, for years to come. So as you can see, you know, uh, cleaning your far infrared sauna and maintaining it is is a really small time commitment when compared to traditional steam or hot rock saunas um, or other things, uh, recreational bathing, things like hot tubs or swimming pools um, that don't really offer the same kind of health benefits um, and enjoyment that are is unique to uh, far infrared sauna use. Um, so the, the most important precaution, if you get anything from this video and this article below, is um, don't ever um, use chemicals, oils, paints, varnish, or anything else that out, can outgas harmful toxins into your sauna environment. It's going to ruin your sauna, ruin your experience, and, and could uh, make you sick. There are some companies that sell cleaners. Um, I haven't found any cleaners that use organic or non-toxic um, chemicals. Um, so any, if you are considering purchasing a chemical to clean your sauna, make sure you request the material safety data sheets um, so that you can get the poison information um, and know whether or not what you're putting in your sauna is, um, is poisonous. Um, we really just don't want, um, we don't want to introduce new toxins into the sauna environment. We're here to get healthy. All right, well, that's it for this blog post. Um, if you have questions for us here at Celebration Saunas, feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is 855-728-6248. And um, ask for Katie. Have a great day.